Hey, Liney. It's been two days since we last talked. I have a lot to catch you up on. I got all of my new school supplies in today. You should have seen Monica's face when she saw all of this stuff. It was so great. She was so cute, so excited. Um, we all wore green today to commemorate the occasion. Uh, yeah, it was really fun. Um, I have so much to catch you up on. Uh, the stuff with Judy. Everything with Judy has been completed. That task is finished. She's been put in the usual spot, and things actually went totally according to plan. Except for one thing, I have a surprise, unexpected surprise. Can you hear that? I'm going to show you, show you the recent developments. Okay, move your foot. This is Richard. I picked up a hitchhiker, Richard while I was dropping off Judy, and he's not your ordinary guy. Instead of just sitting in the car, he made a crack about not liking kids, which tipped me off, obviously, that he might not be totally okay. And then he pulled out a gun and tried to force me into the trunk of my car. Um, so I shot him in the neck. The bullet went through and I stitched him up, but he's still kind of, I don't know, he seems like he'll probably live. I don't know if I should let him live, though. So, I guess we should find out. Okay, Richard. No. Oh. Oh. Say hi to Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Hi. How you doing, Caroline? Hi, Caroline. You're in the bathroom on the floor. Say hi to Caroline. Hey, Caroline. Stop moving around so much. You'll hurt yourself again. Okay, Richard, I have a few questions for you, and I need you to ask them, answer them, honestly. Why don't you like kids? That's not important. You need to answer the question. Why don't you like kids? Uh, well, what are you going to do? Do you need a timeout? I just need you to answer the question. Tell me. Why don't you like kids? I don't know what you're talking about. Richard, why don't you like children? In the car, you were sitting next to me. You said, I could smell kids all over you. I hate kids. Something, something, blah, blah, blah. I was just making small talk. I don't know. I was just making small talk. Please help me. Please get me out of here. I swear I will do it again. So, is putting women in the trunks of their car part of something that you do regularly? I can't move. I can't move. Answer the question. <sighs> Answer the question, Richard. What? What do you normally do to the women who you put inside of their own trunks? After you put a gun to their face. After you shove a gun in their face really hard. What do you do then? What's your normal thing? Alright. See? <laughs> Get this back on there. It's going back on. It's going mm -hmm. back on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, I'm leaving. Move your foot! Mm. It's like this every time. I ask him questions, he won't answer. I've tried a lot of different ways. I've been good teacher, I've been bad teacher. He doesn't respond to anything. I don't know what to do. So far as I can tell, he doesn't do anything to kids. He's obviously a bad person. But I don't know if that means that I should put him in the basement. So I need some advice from you. Caroline, should I put him in the basement? Give me some kind of sign. I just need to know what to do. Tell me what to do.